Go ahead, you know. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hmm, I saw a bashet in a big set at the television. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Praises be to the name of the Holy One of Israel. <clears throat> Great is the faithfulness of our Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. Good morning, Holy Spirit, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome into this time. Welcome into this season. Take our tongues and teach us what to say. Take our minds and teach us how to think. Teach our so take our souls and teach us how to live. Take our footsteps and teach us where to walk. Take our hands and teach us how to fight and what to touch, uh, what to impart. We bless you, O Lord God Almighty. We bless you for your goodness and your mercy. We bless you for your love for us. We bless you, O God, that you forgive us in every situation of weakness and failings. We thank you, O oh Lord God Almighty, for this morning where your mercies are new and your goodness extends to us. Your blessings that make rich and add no sorrow is falling upon us afresh this morning. Your anointing and power, your Shekinah glory presence is upon us in this time and in this season. So we bless you this day, O oh God Almighty. We praise you, Holy One of Israel. You who are awesome, you who are glorious, you who are wonderful, you who are great and greatly to be praised, you who are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. We bless your name, we praise your name. Jehovah is your name, Yahweh is your name, Yeshua is your name. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lords of Lords. You are God, and but from beginning to the end, and there is no place for argument. You are God, you are God. Alpha and Omega, Alpha and Omega, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are I am that I am, Hallelujah. You are El Elyon, the Most High God, Elohim, the Great Creator of the heavens and the earth. You are Jehovah Mekedesh, Jehovah Sidkenu, Ah, Jehovah El Gabor, Hallelujah. <clears throat> Father, we bless you for who you are in every situation and circumstance. For you, your character and nature abides in every situation that we could ever face as a person, as a family, as a community, and as a nation. And so this morning, oh God Almighty, we bless you, we honor you, we come before you, and we say, glory be to your holy name. Father, as we gather to pray, to pray for our nations, to pray for the people of our nations, to pray for those in our nations that are being used by the enemy to destroy, to kill, and to steal. Father, we ask that you will take every person this morning, oh God Almighty, to touch, 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 and release your fresh anointing, and that we do not pray from our knowledge or from our biases or from our experiences, but we will pray from our spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that we will not pray out of our eloquence, but out of revelation. For Lord God Almighty, it is your heart that needs to come forth. For yes, we have opinions about the things that are happening in our various <clears throat> situations and circumstances, but Lord God Almighty, our opinion uh, pales in comparison to the vantage point from which you see. And so, Father, as we come as a family this morning, the Fourth Watch family, we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that, Lord, you will tabernacle with us, uh, that your uncommon presence like you had for, for, in Mo, for Moses on Mount Sinai, like you had uh, with Moses in the tent of meeting. Oh, God Almighty, we ask that this our altars be the tent of meeting place this morning, uh, and that, Lord, 
God like you spoke to Moses face to face. You will speak to us face to face. Tell us what you want us to say, what you want us to intercede concerning, oh God. God Almighty, tell us what you want us to cry out to you concerning these young men and young women that are involved in destroying nations, in destroying families, in destroying communities. Tell us what you want us to intercede concerning, Father, for you already know what you want us to say. You already know, O oh God Almighty. Give us the right words, O oh God. Connect to your heart, O oh God. Connect us to you your heart this morning connect us to your heart oh god almighty that what we plead i will not just be mere words will not be for the much speaking but it will be according to your anointing and according to your heart father we are sick and tired of being sick and tired we are sick and tired of our our, our news uh god almighty reporting only the wicked seeming to take advantage of what is going on we are sick and tired of hearing what the enemy wants us to hear seeing what the enemy wants us to see knowing what the enemy wants us to know and so we decide to take back what is ours we decide to take dominion we have decided to take control we have decided to utilize our authority we have decided Decided, oh God Almighty, that we are going to go where you want us to go, do what you want us to do, live how you want us to live. And so this is the beginning of a new journey, oh God. This is the beginning of a journey with this family and a journey with our families and a journey with our nation and our communities. This is a beginning, oh God Almighty, of your people saying enough is enough. We are pushing back. We are marching against the enemy in this month, oh God, because the enemy must know that your glory is the one that writes the story. Story. And so, God, we have gathered this morning to show you that we are serious about taking back our nation and our nations. We are serious about winning souls for your kingdom. We are serious about taking back what the enemy has stolen, our young men in particular and our young women. We are serious, oh God Almighty, about reclaiming what is rightfully ours, reclaiming what you have given us dominion and authority over. We are serious today, oh God Almighty, and so this is the beginning of a time and a season where we will cry out to you, oh God Almighty, for the lives and for the souls of the people of this nation and of the nations of the world. We're crying out to you, oh God, for the answers, for the solutions to what ails the world, oh God Almighty. We're crying out for the solution to crime and violence. We're crying out for the solution to COVID-19 and every other sickness and disease. We're crying out, oh God, for the solution to to witchcraft, ah, God Almighty, against your people. We're crying out to the solutions, oh God Almighty, to principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places and rulers of darkness who have set up camp, oh God Almighty, who have encircled our lives, our communities, our families, and our nations. They have encircled us and we are starving on the inside for what you have already provided, oh God Almighty, and that is not right. And so we break this morning every chain, we break off every gate, and we declare this morning, God. God Almighty, that as your people pray, Lord, they, the enemy shall hear the footsteps of a mighty army. The enemy shall hear the clanging of mighty swords and spears, and they shall run and leave all that they, they have stolen. They shall run and never stop. Oh, God. Almighty, they shall not even ride away, they shall run on their feet, and we shall reclaim everything that they had and everything that they have stolen, and we must live in the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow. So Lord God Almighty, touch this morning, transform this morning, change this morning, replace this morning, renew this morning, anoint this morning, appoint this morning, and let us, oh God Almighty, be like the new wine that when it is tasted by the people that we are interceding for, Ah, God Almighty, they will say, where was this wine all along? Where were these people all along? Where were these prayers all along? Where was this love all along? Where was this initiative all along? And they will enjoy it. Ah, God Almighty, because this is the new wine that you are pouring out of us to the nations. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah. Good morning to you all, my family. We apologize for the, 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 the late start, but we're going to get right into it. Today is a day of more. This morning is a morning of prayer. We're going to be praying. We're going to be praying because our nation and nations, for the most part, have been beset by this evil principality called crime and violence. And it is as a result of 
of that crime and violence, I believe, uh, don't, 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 don't quote me as saying this is, is um, specific, but as a result of the crime and violence, things like coronavirus has come into play. And, um, and, and this is just me surmising now. So as I said, don't, don't, don't quote me on that. Don't call it doctrine. Don't call it um, uh, guarantee. But I believe that as, as with the children of Israel, and I'm following the principle of what I see in scripture, uh, as the children of Israel began to do evil, as they began to sleep with their 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 um their their their, their fathers, uh, wives, and their sisters, and and all these kinds of things, all kinds of curses started to come upon them. All kinds of evil things started to happen, and there is no 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 evil that we have seen in our generation worse than COVID nineteen. Amen. And so when you look back at how we have been behaving in similar fashion, like the children of Israel. It is not a surprise that uh, one of the the, the the thing that has happened to us is COVID-19 and there are other things that will come that are maybe even worse if we do not change. And so that change must start with us, Fort Watch family. That change must start with us. We must begin to do what God desires for us to do so that change can come to our families and to our nations and to our communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So without further ado, we want to get right into the prayer time. The person that we're, we're going to ask to lead off in this time of prayer is going to set the tone. Brother Malan Young, he's going to talk about, talk for a little bit about um, the issues, the situations, and some of the things that are happening. Hallelujah. Uh, that are happening to to um, some of these young men and women that are involved in involved in crime and violence because one of the reasons why the church has found it difficult to consistently let me say it like that because not that the church doesn't pray for these young people but one of the reasons I believe why the church has not consistently interceded for the lives of these young people uh, because we 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 have come to the conclusion that they're worthless, that they're guilty, that they're they're irredeemable, that they they just want to be wicked, and that they are um you know because we're seeing the results of what they have done and not understanding the the, the behind the scenes, not understanding how they got there in the first place, and we're judging them based on the results. And I too am and have been guilty of doing the same thing. I used to look forward to hearing when they get caught, when the police kill them. I used to be like that. But now, as of now, as of now, I'm not telling you that last week I wasn't like that. I'm saying to you, as of now, I got to change if I expect you all to change and for us to have a different approach because God takes no delight in the death of the wicked. Hear me carefully. No delight in the death of the wicked therefore we can't take any delight either because we are called by his name and so we're gonna um just introduce brother marlon young this morning we're gonna have quite a few persons that are praying uh sister roxanne gordon uh, pastor wright uh sister geraldine morgan sister yuri garrick and uh, and others um i'm not seeing everybody right now but they're on right so some will come on in a, in a, in a little bit hallelujah Right. So, so um, yeah, these are the names of Sister Yuri, uh, Sister Sherelle, sister, uh, Brother Marlon, Sister Geraldine, uh, Sister Jean, uh, Sister Sean. I, I said Marlon already. Jean. Yeah, Sister Jean, um, Roxanne, Br Pastor Dorset, and uh, I'm looking forward to hear Sister Stacy. I must tell you, it's not, <laughs> it's not special. Like I didn't know she could talk. Glory to God. So I'm listening. I'm looking forward to, to this time. So let's just get into that mode. Uh, those of you who can pray in the spirit, just begin to pray because while there's some that are leading the charge of prayer, each of us have to be agreeing in prayer. We, there has to be one accord like what happened at Pentecost in order for the fullness of God's mighty rushing wind to come into the presence. And, and oh, yes, I forgot to mention Brother Malan. There's Marlon and Malan. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, Brother Marlon. Yeah, morning. Yes, that's you. Your turn. Yes, sir. Morning. Morning, everybody. Yes, you sir. Know, Good morning. Mor as, as you were speaking about the reasons for crime, you know, came up to a conversation starting last night. That there are instances in the Bible where we would consider them crime today. One is Saul saw David as a criminal. 
and as such started to treat him like a criminal whilst the people in Israel saw David as something else. And because of this, David was persecuted. His persecution led him into the wilderness where he met upon some shepherds. And in being around them, after a while, David sent to them boss and said, Here what? We've been around your people. We've been around your people. And while we've been around them, they have been safe. Nothing is gone for you. Everything is good. So here what? No. Send us some food and some other things. In today's world, we have a thing for that. We call it the protection racket. So may I say? Yes. That could be seen as the beginning of the protection racket, extortion. David was doing a good deed as far as David was concerned because he was looking after the man's stock. The man saw it from a different perspective. Yo, whatever they are. I work hard for my things and no I must just get things so. So he would see David as a criminal, yet still David say, yo, but I'm doing you good. I mean, Jacob, you meant trickster. Today we have a problem with scamming. In today's world, J Jacob would probably be seen as a scammer. Once again, it is a perspective on which it is seen. In our case in Jamaica, I've had opportunity to speak to a lot of young men who are involved in crime. Some of them, not by choice. Example, a man living in a community, his community and another community at odds. He doesn't necessarily want to fire a gun, but he must fire a gun or must leave the community or harm can come to his family. What does he do? The man him over to take your life, say, him have a gun. He must defend him life, he must defend him family, he must defend him community. No, he, he end up shoot two men. The man them here say him shoot two men from for them. And police here say him shoot two men and he's not wanted. Yes, he fired the gun. Yes, two lives were lost. But it was really in defending himself. But he's now known as a criminal. He's now a gunman. But on the most wanted list. And it is that with a lot of youngsters today. A lot of them do not want to be in crime. In speaking to them, and you know, I heard the other day of people talking about their dreams where gunmen were saying, Pray for us. I've heard this too, not in dreams, from man who fire guns. So, Bossy, and this one, you know, who want to you know, leave the life of pray for, you know. Jesus. So, while the rest of us will be praying, it is just to pray from a position of understanding. You see that when a man holds a grudge against a next man, call a man and say, boy, get rid of that man. The other man they call to other little man and say, go kill that man. The one who fires the gun and probably kill the person committed the crime, but is he the only one? What if we had eliminated the first person who bore the grudge? Would have eliminated the second one and the person who fired the gun. Mm. We would say that the man who fired the gun committed the crime. Yes, he did. But it started somewhere else. So, you know, this really is just to get us to be cognizant. As Pastor was saying, sometimes we tend to judge based on what we see and what we hear happening. But the truth is, it is rooted in other things. So we have to be cognizant as we pray. There are different levels. Like in any other organization, crime has levels. You have from the top all the way down. If we keep praying to deal with all the way down and don't deal with the top, will never have a change. Because trust me, 
some of these young men believe they are doing good because they have been, you know, the Bible says, through lack of knowledge, many people perish. Because they have not been given right information, because they have not been fed knowledge, because they're not into understanding, and worse, them don't have no wisdom because they don't know God. Some of them not even able to think for themselves. Anything the big man say gets done. So, yeah, we need to tear the stone from the top down. And, and people, remember, you know, crime is an action or a mission which constitutes an offense and is punishable by law. That is how we operate with crime in the land. And it is easy to get involved in crime. And I'm talking from experience. I am guilty of the sin of murder. Based on what Jesus said, if you're angry, and if you're, you sit down and plan for somebody, something, you're guilty. Luckily though, I did not commit a crime. I want to say murder people. I sit down and plan for cut a man short to defend my home and my family. As far as me, this is not never wrong with that cause. The boy had this the thing and he need to go. But God. Hmm. So, unfortunately, it is way too easy for them to be led. So, you know what praying people just want us to pray for their minds. That's the battleground that most of them have lost. That's why so many of them are lost now. Mm -hmm. And if that is the earthly thing for crime. Do we, in our daily work, commit crimes against God? You know? Hmm. Husband, if you don't love your wife, are you committing a crime against God? How should you be punished? Wife, if you don't respect your husband, are you breaking God's law? Should you be punished? Simple things like those. So there's the law of the land and there's the laws of God because a lot of things never changed till the Ten Commandments were put in place. The law. Now you know the law. Now you know what to do. So I'll start, I guess, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we just give you thanks for today, Lord God Almighty. All seeing, all knowing God creator of all things, including laws, mighty God. Laws which you have set to govern your people, the earth. Father, sometimes unknowingly, unwittingly, without even thinking, Lord, we break your laws. Our Father, we don't see ourselves as deserving punishment for what we do, because what we see that we do is, is nothing compared to what others are doing, Lord. But Father, I pray that even as we begin to intercede for our nation and our young men, especially Lord God Almighty, who find themselves in a life of crime and violence, some choose to, Lord, some not by choice. Father, I pray that you will us first remove from us anything that would cause us to pray contrary to your will of your purpose, Lord God Almighty. Lord, even as this strong man has taken a seat over this land as if it belongs to him, Lord God Almighty. Father, today, as a united force, Fourth watch family, Lord God Almighty. 
we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Armored and fully ready for war, Lord God Almighty, to take back what is our Father's and what belongs to our Father's kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let the attack begin. As we come to tear down this strongman demon of crime and violence over this land and win back for the kingdom, the souls of our young men and our young women, especially the Lord God Almighty. Father, your word says that the firstborn of the womb belongs to you. Many of them are firstborn, Lord God Almighty. They have not been given back to you by their parents who lack the knowledge of who they are and who they belong to, Lord God Almighty. But we stand in the gap this morning. I say, Lord, every one of them, especially the firstborn of the womb, Lord God Almighty, Father, renew their minds. Lord, those with hearts of stone, Lord, your word says you will change hearts of stone to hearts of flesh, Lord God Almighty. Renewing them a right spirit, Lord God Almighty, to truly become the warriors that you want them to be, warriors for the kingdom, warriors against the kingdom of darkness, Lord God Almighty. So, Father, I pray that you will us empower each and every member of this family to step out of their zone, to step out of their way, Lord God Almighty, and be an arrow into the camp of the enemy to destroy and tear down the scourge of crime and violence from this land and every land represented in the Fort Watch family, Lord. Let it so begin in Jesus' name. Amen. God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Marlon. That was well done, well done, well done. Hallelujah. In terms of the introduction and creating the environment, in which we are interceding. We're going to move right along in the interest of time. Uh, Sister Yori, Sister Yori, we're going to ask you to just pick up, take the baton on the second leg and just begin to go down that back stretch. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hey, Jesus. Hey. Father, we thank you this morning, Lord, even for the insight that Marlon has given to us this morning. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking through him, oh God, and giving us the the the, the right mindset, oh God, to look at it from your perspective, to look at it from a different perspective from how we've been seeing it, almighty God. And Father, we pray, oh Lord, for those who are involved in a life of criminality, oh God. Father, I the truth is, God, that these men and women were created by your hand, almighty God. They were created by, by you on purpose, for purpose, almighty God, and they have lost their way, oh God. They are lost, oh God, and the enemy has them in, their, in his grip, oh God. But today we loose them from the enemy's grip in the mighty name of Jesus, and we call them into the kingdom, out of the kingdom of darkness and translated into the kingdom of light. Father, I pray, oh God, that you would touch their heart oh God, that you would give them a hunger and a thirsting for righteousness, that they will be filled, almighty God. I pray, oh God, that you would bring them some kind of revelation, oh God, that transforms them, oh God, transform them indeed, Lord, by the renewing of their minds, almighty God. And Lord, it is indeed upon us, oh God, your kingdom citizens, oh Lord, to bring your word into these by byways and highways, almighty God. God, I pray for us, God, that you would would change our hearts oh god and give us our give us hearts of compassion oh god to see that they are lost and in need of you oh god sometimes we are focused on the thing that they have done oh god but even as we learned oh god even through our fast that felt up oh god it's not only you're not concerned only about what we do but why we do what we do oh god the iniquity that's in our hearts oh god so lord in compassion may we god your your one to hold truth who 
know truth. Minister to them, O oh God, by some means, Almighty God, to minister your love to them, O oh God, to show them that there is a better way, to show them that there is a way that they can walk out of this lifestyle, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And even as Marlon said, some of them don't want to choose it, but they, they, they find, they feel like they have no option. God, you always make a way of escape. I pray, oh God, that you would show them that way in the mighty name of Jesus through us, your hands and feet in the earth. We are your hands and feet in the earth, almighty God. Cause us to take our rightful places, oh God, as your church and to do the thing that you have called us to do. Lord, sometimes we are so afraid and we allow fear to hold us in bondage and we allow fear to hold us back. And so the enemy runs rampant in our land. But God, today we put our stake in the ground and we say we will take up your man the mantle that you have given. We will do the things that you have called us to do. We will speak. We will, almighty God, take your gospel to the four corners of the world, oh God, including to those who are involved in criminal activity. Lord, we will have your heart of compassion toward them, almighty God, and we will deliver your word, God. You said that some, are, some of us are to plant the seed, some of us to, are, are to water the seed, and you will give the increase. So mighty God, May we take our mantles this day, O oh God, and minister life to these men who feel that it is their right to take lives, O oh God, and to be involved in these criminal activities. They are lost. May we see that they are lost and minister your truth to their souls. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing in your people in this season. Thank you that you're raising up the one, the 700 that have not bowed their knees to the image of Baal, of which you have by your sovereignty and your glory chosen us to be a part of those. Hallelujah. Oh, that was an amazing second leg, Yuri. You've handed over now to Roxanne Garden. Roxanne, take the baton on the third leg and begin to run, begin to run, begin to run. Hallelujah. Unmute your mic, Roxanne, and get right into the flow. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, Fort Watch family. Let me just begin by thanking you, mighty God, for everything that you have done for us, Lord. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for our lives, mighty God. As we come before you, Lord, praying for our troubled young men of this nation, Lord, that keeps wreaking havoc over our nation, Lord. So many persons are afraid to go out, mighty God. So many persons um, are in their homes and worried. They don't know what is going to happen. But Lord, today we come on behalf of these young men, these broken young men, mighty God. We know, oh God, that um, broken people, hurt people, mighty God. So this morning we come and we ask, Lord, that you intervene, mighty God, and encounter them in different ways, mighty God. Different ways, mighty God. Lord, I ask that you raise up us as Christians, different Christians, mighty God, in different communities, oh Lord, to pray on behalf of these young men, these broken young men, Lord, who sometimes they don't even know how oh, they don't even know how mighty God to even pray and ask you to encounter them. So Lord, this morning we ask for your hands over them, Lord. We ask for your blessing, mighty God. We ask that you encounter them in a different way. Lord, when they go out to, pre to commit crimes, mighty God, when they go out, they will see different things. Sometimes when you hear testimonies of men who were criminals before, saying that they go out and they try to pull the trigger, mighty God, but they encountered something, either an angel or something. Lord, this is what we ask, mighty God. So when we pray this morning, Lord, send out your angel and dispatch them, mighty God. Dispatch them, mighty God, and give us victory over them, Lord. Let's, um, we have testimonies of young men who were once criminals, mighty God, giving their lives to you this year, giving their lives and turning their lives over to you this year, mighty God. We pray, mighty God, we pray for our nation, Jamaica. We pray over our nation and our young men, lad. Lord, let them turn to you. Let them turn to you and know that they have a place in the church. Let them know that we are here, mighty God, 
fighting on behalf of them. In your name, we pray this morning. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful third leg. Wonderful third leg. Hallelujah. We're going to go to a gentleman again. Brother Malan. Brother Malan. Brother Malan. Unmute your mic and go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you. We bless you. We lift you up and we glorify your name, mighty God. Awesome God. Awesome ruler. Awesome King. We lift you up and we give you glory. We tell you thanks and we praise your name. We thank you, God, for this morning. We thank you, God, for this session. We thank you, God, for what you're using your people to do. And as Lord, we have entered this territory. We ask you for blood coverage in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, Lord God, that your anointing would be upon us and that you cover us, mighty God. And we ask, Lord, that your spirit would continue to be upon us, mighty God. And we ask you this morning that as we present these our young men to you, and sometimes women, mighty God, who are involved in a life of crime. Mighty God, you see the havoc that it is wreaking on our society, the disruption it is causing in families, and mighty God, the many people that are hurting as a result of what's being done. Mighty God, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of murder, the spirit of rape, the spirit of robbery, the spirit of crime, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bind it here on earth, mighty God. You tell us that what we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. So we bind it in the name of Jesus Christ and we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, you are the God who breaks bondage. You are the God who delivers. And mighty God, a lot of these persons who are involved in this life of crime, mighty God, they're under duress they are under either from man or are directly from the enemy himself mighty god and we ask you lord god that you would intervene in the name of jesus christ of nazareth some of these places we don't have access to god but you have access mighty god so we call on you our mighty god that you dispatch your host to every nook and every cranny in the name of jesus christ one time it used to be a particular era eras where crime was concentrated no it is widespread like gangrene but my Mighty God, you are the great intervener. You are the great deliverer. Mighty God, we ask that you intervene in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask, Lord God, that you would reach out, that, Lord, you touch the hearts of these men and women, God. You touch the hearts of the parents who parent them. You touch the heart of the people who stand as guardian over them and who would know what is happening, mighty God, and those who would be playing, turning a blind eye to what is happening. I would be supported in an indirect way, mighty God. We ask for a conviction to fall on them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, we know you come not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. And mighty God, whilst we want the crime to stop, we don't want to see them dying as they're taking their lives because it represents a soul that is lost and it represents victory for the enemy. That is not what we want, God. We want to see them delivered. We want to see them called and serving you in the name of Jesus Christ. So mighty God, we ask you for the fix. Police do not have the fix. Mighty God, you have the fix. And through us, the church, mighty God, we ask, Lord God, that you would cause us to raise up and that we will call on you that we would we would do what we need to do mighty god so that you can reach your people so we ask you again lord dispatch your host do what we cannot do mighty god we are calling on you our god we are calling on you our healer we are calling on you our defender we are calling on you our refuge we are calling on you our strength so we ask that you change our hard position mighty god where we want to see them dead where we want to see them wiped off the face of the earth because they are not good, but because we would see them through the eyes of grace, through the eyes of love, mighty God. See them as you will see them, mighty God. And we ask, Lord God, that you would reach them in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove the eye for an eye mentality from amongst us, mighty God. We ask, Lord God, that you would overall our justice system. Lord, we hear that because the justice system is not of such, why people take matters into their own hands. This is beyond that, God. And we reach in the realm of the spirit and we call for justice in the name of Jesus Christ. We call for healing to the hearts of your people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we ask, Lord God, that you would be our judge. And Lord God, that when you judge, you will judge with mercy, God. So we ask you, Lord, to deliver your people. We ask you to administer your healing to the hearts of those who are being victim of crimes. And mighty God, we ask you, God, for a conviction on the heart of criminal in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Mighty God, we put every gang before you, every gang man before you, every youth who is aspiring to be a gang man, every youth who is admiring the gang man and, uh, and want to be like them when he grows and when he reach uh, that particular age, mighty God, that spirit that is drawing them, we bind it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And mighty God, we ask you, Lord God, that us as Christians would live lives that are victorious, lives that are attractive, that will draw young people, that will draw young men that will draw young women when they see us mighty god they would desire to be like us they would see us as being cool and not the gunmen or the the, the, the dan men as being cool and and rubbing out their hand middles and such the light mighty god but lord god that our hands will be lifted to praise you to worship you to glorify you and to do your works mighty god you come against the spirit of unforgiveness mighty god Come against the spirit of pride where a man say, yo, the boy that this me and him for dead. Oh God, we come against the spirit to bind it here on earth and mighty God. We bound it in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the spirit of greed where a man feel like he must have this and he must have that and he must work for it. And you tell us, God, in your word that if a man shall not work, <laughs> you tell us that by the strength of our bro, we will eat bread. Mighty God, this is what the work that they are, that they, 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 they have embarked on. It, 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 it is disgraceful, mighty God. But God, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord God, we pray thee that you would mobilize people to do work by honest means, mighty God. We ask, Lord God, that you would reach your people. Mighty God, we will not forget the masterminds. We will not forget the ones who, who, who stood like Saul did back then, who gave the instruction, but they might not be pulling the trigger. Mighty God, we put them before you. You know them individually. You know them collectively. You know them locally. You know them internationally. Mighty God, we ask that you dismantle the empire in the name of Jesus Christ. Dismantle it in the name of Jesus Christ. Dismantle it in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, you are our defender. You are the defender of the helpless. Mighty God, and we ask, Lord God, that you defend us, you defend your people from the criminals, from, 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 from the enemy, from the hands of the enemy. Defend your people, mighty God. There are many that will not put their hand on a trigger. There are many that will not access a trigger, but they, they are victims, mighty God, and they live in fear. Intervene, God. Intervene in this country. Intervene in the heart of your people and change us from inside out, mighty God, and cause that your work will begin, mighty God. Cause that the groundwork will be done through your people, mighty God. In times like these, they're looking to the church and we ask that you mobilize your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, reach your people, deliver us, defend us, heal us, save us, Baptize us with Holy Ghost and fire again with fresh anointing to do that which you have called us to do. Move us out of our comfort zone, mighty God, and carry us to places to do your work. And remove fear, every sort of fear, remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you for doing it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh yeah, Jesus. What a God, what a God, what a God. Mm. Remember family, remember please, we're not bystanders, we're not just listening in, we are interceding in the same way. We may not be the ones doing it publicly, but I implore you, please, in your, in your space, wherever you are, if you're walking, if you're at work already, if you're driving, if you're in your, in your house, Please be storming around. If you can walk, walk. If, you have, if you're sitting down, sit down. But don't just be idle and don't just be listening. Agree. Say, yes, Lord. We agree. Yes, Lord. Pray in the spirit. If you can pray in the spirit. Uh, when you hear him say something, if that touches a chord in you and you are passionate about that, begin to expand on it in your own perspective and in your own space. Remember, as a family, we're tearing down what the enemy has built up, what we have allowed to our autopilot to, to, to have taken over our nation and nations. Come on, we're tearing it back down now. We're taking back, we're going from Ziglag. We're taking back, we're going after Lot. We're going after our families and we're taking back. And so all of us have to be in one accord in doing that. So don't just, don't just listen. Go ahead and tear down from your own space as well. Sister Stacy, it's time for you. The baton is passed to you now. Please unmute your mic and go right into warfare in the name of Jesus. 
Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord God. Jesus, we honor you, Lord God. We bless your name. We give you the glory, Lord God. Please forgive us, Lord God. We are asleep. We are asleep on a watch, Lord God. God, please forgive us, Lord God. You said, Lord God, your people are called by your name. Would humble ourselves, Lord God, and we pray, Lord God, and we could just seek your face, Lord God. You hear from heaven and you'll heal our land, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Please forgive us for being asleep, Lord God. Jesus, you give us authority, Lord God. When you died on that cross, God, you gave us authority to go into the, the devil's place and take back what belongs to you, Lord belongs to you, Lord God. And even now, Lord God, we go, we take that authority, Lord God, and we go into the devil's camp and we take back all of those, those men and women. We snatch them out of the devil's hand now in Jesus' name. We snatch them out, not today, devil, not ever, devil, not our men, not our women. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, God, Jesus, help us to be to be heroes to them, Lord God. Help us to walk in a way, Lord God, that that would be attractive, Lord God. Jesus, we snatch them out, out to the devil's hand now, and we say thank you, Lord God. We say thank you, Lord God. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and our sound mind, and we walk up and down the streets of Jamaica now in the spirit, Lord God. And we take authority. We go into those homes where they're sleeping. Oh, Masa. Oh, Masa. And we take authority now in Jesus' name. Everywhere we go, everywhere we think, Lord God, whether in our minds or where our feet trod, Lord God, your power will be there, Lord God. And we take authority. We take authority now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, woman of God. Hallelujah. I felt that, I felt that, I felt that intercession. Guys, y'all are doing awesome, awesome. God is really answering our prayers. He has taken our tongues and he has taught us what to say. I feel the intercession from the spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As we await our next prayer part person, I just want to pray this prayer for someone who wanted to contribute from Trinidad and Tobago. Hallelujah, brother Joseph. And he said, God, we're thanking you for keeping Jamaica despite that what is, what is happening. Hallelujah. We thank you, O God Almighty, for the government of Jamaica. O God Almighty, we thank you that the government of Jamaica shall stand strong in the midst of everything that is going on and, we shall, and they shall do rightly. O God, help the government of Trinidad and Tobago to overcome the present economic doldrums and wantons and destruction that is happening in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, visit the governments of every person that, is, that, that lives and works and have their being from the Fort Watch family in the various countries, oh God Almighty, the various states, our oh God in England, in Canada, in America, in all the countries of the Caribbean, everywhere that a Fort Watch family member is located. Father, we thank you that you are visiting right now and that you are shifting the atmosphere of crime and violence everywhere that wickedness and corruption prevails. We thank you, Lord, that we are marching against them and we are pushing them back like an army, oh God Almighty, we are going forth and we are pushing them back now in the name of Jesus. We're backing them off the cliff. We're backing them into the sea. We're pushing them into the rivers. We're sending back from whence they came and they shall not have dominion over our governments, over our leaders of industries, over our, our, our leaders of churches and all civil organizations and over our children, over our families in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father Jamaica, hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Irrespective of what you are going through now, you will survive in mighty name of Jesus. That's the word, a prophetic word coming from Trinidad and Tobago. It says, Jamaica, hear the word of the Lord. Irrespective of what you are going through now, you will survive. You will thrive. You will, under God, increase in beauty, fellowship, and prosperity, and play your part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. And so, Father, give our prime minister of jamaica the wisdom that will take jamaica out of the present challenges and make us to come out stronger in the name of jesus christ give the minister of national security wisdom oh god almighty to deploy the resources in a way that does not necessarily end in the death of our young men but in the rehabilitation by your by your wisdom and by your anointing in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah father rain your hail and brimstone over the strong man that is set over jamaica in the name of jesus christ every principality every strong man that has been set against jamaica we declare fire against them now brimstone against them now in the mighty name of jesus christ father in the name of jesus all authorities that are not of god in charge of our economy in jamaica in trinidad and tobago and in all the other countries that the fort what family members are domiciled in we come against them now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord god the economies will flourish we come against the strong man of covid 19 that is designed to shut down churches shut down companies shut down families shut down lives and we say not in our not on our watch it shall not happen we send war we send hailstones we send fire from heaven god of elijah send fire against this this principality called covid 19 designed to destroy our nations in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Oh, Father, we are tired of the bloodletting. We are tired of the bloodletting in Jamaica. Let every killing and forms of destruction come to an end immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. Visit the hearts, oh God Almighty. Lord, you have said in your word that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. And so all those the strong men, the ones that they call 116s and 90 octanes, Lord God Almighty, touch their hearts and turn them that they will give different instructions to the, eight, to the 87s, to the young men and the young women, oh Oh God Almighty, that they will stop sending guns into the country, oh God, that they will stop doing the things that they are doing, oh God, those who are in the high places, whether they are in political office, whether they are in corporate offices, or any other office, oh God Almighty, hallelujah, consider the white collar controllers, Lord God Almighty, we ask you to touch their hearts like you touch Pharaoh, touch them, visit them like you visited Abimelech, and change their situations, oh God Almighty, that they will begin to send different instructions, that they will begin to invest in the community in a way that does not destroy it, but a way that says you need to go to Sunday school, you need to go to Sabbath school, you need to start attending church and finding finding God, that they begin to send different kind of instructions instead of going to wipe out someone, go mash our works, go destroy lives, they will send them to go take some food. They will send them to go be a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we thank you, Lord God Almighty that your good hand is upon this nation and the nations that are represented in this prayer time this morning. And we thank you that it is so, and it is done in Jesus' name. Amen Sister and amen. Jean. Hallelujah. Our next prayer person is Sister Jean. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Jean, you are on now. We aren't hearing her. Not hearing Sister Jill.
Unmute your mic, Pastor Rowan, if she had called in. Rowan, unmute your mic. that we are not in agreement and not in obedience. So to your nudging, Lord, we come to, 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 to worship, we come to pray, we come to give thanks, Lord God Almighty, for these young men of this island of Jamaica. Lord, you came not for the righteous. You came to call sinners to repentance. And so, Lord God, as we stand in the gap, on behalf of these men, Lord, we raise up a standard in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask, Lord God, that you touch them in a very special way, oh God. We ask, Lord God Almighty, that you draw them by your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Many have come from broken homes. Mm. Many have come from poor abandonment. Many have come from single parent homes. Mm. Many, many parents, Lord God, are wringing their hands even now because they do not know what to do. But Lord, we pray that you would raise up an army who will intercede, mighty God, with your call for a man to stand in the gap. And we pray that it is more than a man, but many men to stand in the gap on behalf of these young men in Jamaica. Lord, that when you came in, you called the tax collector. You came, you called Judah to betray you. You, 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 you saved the thief from the cross. And so this morning, Lord, that we know that your will and purpose is with men. Hallelujah. Is mm. to have a abundant life. Because you love them. Love them, Lord God Almighty, and it's only one that's called Lord Jesus. So we thank the Lord God Almighty that we have come and we have repeated this call this morning. Hallelujah. And you draw them out of darkness into your mouth. Yes, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray for a renewed mind. A renewed mindset, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. The spirit of humility in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because, Father God, we know that your plan for them not to harm them, but to give them a future and to give them a hope in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, and whatever is influencing these men, whoever is, in, is, is influencing them, Lord, hallelujah, we pull down these strongholds so that we break these chains in their lives, Lord God Almighty. We are declare that there will be a ship in your perspective, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. And we continue to pray without ceasing. Mighty God, we pray for transformation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we come to plunder him. Yes. Mm. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, it is not your will to see none of these young men. So we thank you for their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, as we come as a people to pray, to seek your peace, and to turn that to heal the hearts of these young men. The mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. We pray that you continue to give us hearts of compassion that we pray without ceasing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we want to wait as you think go to a level. Then we start to pray, but Lord, we take them on like sons. We take them on like daughters. And God, we see that we will be here of, of, of the crimes that they committed. If angry is past the same. But Lord, they us to look at it as another, as another, in another way, another level that we hear of these crimes, Lord. So to go down and we start to intercede for them in the mighty name of Jesus. So this morning we thank you for the ship. We thank you for a ship yes. that comes here over Jamaica. Yes. East, west, north, south. Yes, in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, we thank you. Hallelujah. That you've given us mighty God that has the authority. Mm. You say what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we lose on earth. It's loose in it. We lose them now. We decree a spirit. You said we shall decree a thing. And it 
it shall be established. So we believe, Lord. You said when we come to you, we must believe that you exist and that you are a warder that we that diligently seek you. So as we diligently seek you, Lord, let this not be just lip service, Lord, mm. but let there be a heart change in our yes, poor praying. Mighty God, and pray like if it was a son or a daughter. And so, Father God, we raise you up today, and we thank you for divine intervention. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. We draw them by your spirit, Lord. Draw them by your spirit. We look to you now as we continue to worship you and tell you, thank you for doing it, Lord. Thank you for doing it, Lord. Thank you for this ship. Thank you, Lord, for drawing them by your spirit. And even those who are incarcerated, mighty God. Yes. Pray, God Almighty, that you would raise up, that you would raise up ministering angels to go in those jailhouses, mm. in those prisons, because some of them are there. Plotting and planning, they are in there, but they still have authority, a sort of authority on in on the street. Yes. Mighty God, they stay there. But God Almighty, we pray that we confound the devil. Hallelujah, we confound the devil in the mighty name of Jesus, and we take back our island, we take back our country. We say Jamaica belong to Jesus. Yes. Jamaica belong to Jesus. Hallelujah, we claim it now, Lord God Almighty, and we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for doing it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hey. Hallelujah. I'm not sure about second day. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, woman of God. That's an intercession from heaven itself. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sister Mark, Sister Morgan, Sister Morgan, Sister Geraldine Morgan, go right ahead, unmute your mic and pick up the baton and let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Sister Morgan. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hey. Uh, Sister Morgan, are you there? Are you there? I'm seeing you, but you're not unmuting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Masata City, devil, you think you win? You lose this battle in the mighty name of Jesus. You hearing me, man of God? People of God, you hearing me? Hallelujah. Yes, we're hearing you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, we come again. We're talking about the wind of repentance that is flying over this land, Jamaica, and over this world. The repent repentance for the men, men who are born in the, and shaped in the image of God, but them call themselves gone man. No more they are going to be men of God. Lord, you said in your word, in Isaiah 55, verse 7, that repentance brings pardon and forgiveness of sin no sacrifice no religious ceremony can save this guy these men are these men who are formed who are made in your image and your likeness so god we pray that even now that these men will answer to the call the call for repentance that they will acknowledge their wrong and know that there is a god who loves them so much that Jesus Christ, you said you died on the cross just for one of them and the thousand that are there, you die for them all, that as they confess their sin, Lord, according to your word, you are faithful and just to forgive them of their sin and to cleanse them from all unrighteousness. Lord, you see the innocent blood that have been flowing, that has caused from the hand of these men. But God, we speak for a change now, a change in their direction, that their focus will be on you, Jesus, that the fire of God will burn within them, will burn the desires, the hatred, the, the everything that is of the enemy will mash up will burn in the mighty name of Jesus, that their lives will be vessels, vessels to be used by you, hallelujah, to bring forth the word of God. Either they will use the word of God as the fire, not the gun, no more gun, but the word of God will be out of the, will come out of their mouth like fire to minister, Lord, to bring healing, to bring deliverance. We thank you for the change. We thank you for the change this morning. 
We thank you, God, that you are confusing even the plans that they have, even the plans that they have now. The, the assignment that the enemy has assigned them to, we confuse every one of them and we mash them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, oh God, you, 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 you transform their life, their thinking, their mind in the name of Jesus Christ, that the spirit of God will control their emotion, that they will no longer be led by their feeling and, and as a result, but your Holy Spirit will direct them. Father God, we pray for conviction. Oh God, we stand in the gap and we repent. We repent. Lord, we stand in the gap for these young men and young women. Oh God, who have sinned, who have committed crime. And we say, God, we are sorry. We repent, oh God. Forgive us, oh God, of our sin. I thank you for your blood, that because of your blood, we are saved. And so, oh God, as we stand in the gap for them, we just say, Father, come into our lives. Saturate our lives with your love. Saturate, cleanse our life with your blood. Oh, let your anointing, Lord, be the word coming from our lips, oh God. Words of life, not words of hatred, not words that like cause murder, but words that will speak life. We speak life into these gunmen that they will give the resurrection life of Jesus Christ to all those they come in contact with. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you. Thank you again for putting a body of people. And Lord, we just want to pray for wounded women who have been associated with gunmen. Oh God, some of them, they cannot come out because they know them are going to mash them up. And they are in the situation, Lord. And they are suffering. They are wounded. But we pray, oh God, that they will be delivered as you deliver the man. Their man deliver them, oh God, from crime. They too will be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we give you thanks and we praise your name. We thank you for this body of people. And, Lord, we just commit the leaders of Fort Wash family. Mighty God, we thank you for the great transformation which has caused from these first year man of God, Brother Wade and Sister Wade, and the body of the Fort Wash people. Lord, we thank you for the food that we have been receiving that ignite our spirit our, and ignite our walk with you. So, God, we no longer want to just be on the back burner, but Lord, we want to go forward with you, Lord Jesus. So I pray for new revelation, oh God. I pray that they, their cupboard will not be empty, that you bless them in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless every family that is represented on this family watch, on this watch, bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that today is an awesome day and we go for it in the mighty name of Jesus to know that God, you have spoken and we receive your word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Katabasete, Kotoda Bashato, Hallelujah, Shatala Basete. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, woman of God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. That was an impassioned plea, and we felt it. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Next up, we're gonna have Pastor, Pastor Wright. Hallelujah, Pastor Wright. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We continue to give God thanks. Remember, do not be distracted. Stay focused. This is a very important, a very important mission that we're on. God has entrusted us with this mission. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God has entrusted us with this with this mandate to shift the atmosphere in not just Jamaica, but Jamaica will under God increase. Hallelujah. So Pastor is on now. Hallelujah. So we're just gonna go right into him. Pastor, go right ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Father God, as we enter this fasting Tuesday, the second day of March 2021. Father God, you said it. 
Some of these kinds commit not out, mm. but by prayer and fasting. Yes, Lord God. So we say today, Lord, the Lord is good. Mm. Yes, hallelujah. A stronghold in the day of trouble. Aye. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Hallelujah. As we intercede in prayer, God Almighty, you said in your word that the whole creation groans. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. We groans and mourn yes. in yes. Lord, yes, Lord. the restoration of all things. God Almighty, we repent. Yes, Lord God. As a people, as a nation, yes, as a church, God Almighty, for as the body of Christ, for allowing these atrocities to overtake us. Yes. <laughs> so we come, Lord God, in consecration before you. Because you said to Joshua, consecrate the people. Because tomorrow God will do a great thing among you. Hallelujah. And as I come with a perspective that you have given me by revelation, mighty God, a lot of these young people are trapped. Yes. By the confession of Christians. My God. Mm. They are trapped. Because we who know better, mm. we are not confessing the right things. Jesus. We are not releasing the right things in the atmosphere. Oh, we are cutting out the limbs and we are not killing the root. Because many who murdered the Christians, some of us who know should know better, we set them in faith.
Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Oh, glorious, wonderful God. We first want to, as we come to a close this morning, we're going to have communion, but we just first want to thank each and every one of you that have helped us this morning to just cry out to heaven. We come in unison. I believe that God is pleased. I believe with every fiber of my being, and I know that you are feeling it as well. Every person that is watching, every person that has actively participated, and that means all of those who are online, those who prayed publicly, 
And those who prayed privately, I know you're feeling a sense in your spirit that the Lord has stood up and is saying, yes, this is what I was looking for. And so God is pleased with us as a family and he's going to do marvelous things. I prophesy that there shall be a shift as we begin to love who God loves, serve who God wants us to serve. Hallelujah. And be who God wants us to be yes, for his Lord. glory. He shall open doors, windows, uh, roof, hallelujah, foundations, whatever it is that it will take for us to get to what we need to get to. God will move heaven and earth, hallelujah, to ensure that we continue to be encouraged to comply with what he wants so that men might be saved in the name of Jesus Christ. So Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your love. We thank you that you have heard, hallelujah, you have focused diligently on every word that was spoken. Thank you for those who interceded, oh God Almighty, from those publicly to those privately. Bless them, cover them, guard and keep them. Let no weapon form against us prosper. Let every tongue that rise against us in judgment be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we seal every word of these every prayers. Word. Father, as they come up to you, you're like, like with Daniel, you said, before you asked, we I answered. But the prince of the power of the ear, hallelujah, held up your answer. Lord, may the prince of the power of the ear receive fire. May the prince of the power of grace receive fire. Hallelujah. May our answer come now, come now, come now, come now, come now, come now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the scourge of crime, hallelujah, in whatever shape or form, in whatever a country that is represented here receive the fire of God now may the answer come and crime become like the lions that Daniel slept on may crime become like the fire that could not burn Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego Lord because you are standing in the midst of that fire with us in the name of Jesus Christ and so we bless you today oh God Almighty may your good hand be upon every member of this family and upon our family and extended family in the mighty name of Jesus may your hand be upon the nations that we are living and working in at this moment and we give you praise and honor and glory for the mighty and awesome and glorious work that you have done this morning. Send your angels to march with us as we march into this month of March taking back uh, our nations our communities, our God Almighty and our families in the name of Jesus Christ. We glorify you O God and we give you praise in Jesus name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bro, quick hallelujah. Voice, hallelujah. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. I mean, this was awesome. I hey, I was yeah. literally in heaven. Hallelujah. As you all ministered to the spirit of the living God, by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. It's time for communion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this time this morning. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that our hearts are set towards you. But we are not perfect, oh God Almighty. So in thoughts and in words and in actions, we often contravene your precepts and your laws. But Lord, it is not deliberate. And so we humbly ask your forgiveness this morning for wherever we have done so. And we ask, oh God, that you'll continue to work with us, to nurture us, that we will become like you, one with you, one according to your thoughts and according to your words, that like you, Christ Jesus, we will say what we hear our Father say and do what we see our Father do in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Lord, bless these emblems in the name of Jesus Christ. Sanctify them, consecrate them even now, that as your children, as your people, eat of your body and drink of your blood. We will not do it unworthily, but do it unto strength, unto healing, unto deliverance, unto prosperity, unto good success, unto blessings, unto favor, unto intercession, unto love, hallelujah, unto the fruit of the spirit and the gifts of the spirit being demonstrated like you in your name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he broke it, he blessed it, he gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it, his body in faith, in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup 
and he blessed it. He took a sup and he said, drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me, my death, burial, and resurrection until I come. We drink the blood of the one who died, but the one who is resurrected. And so this is the resurrected blood, the resurrected anointing, the resurrected oil, the resurrected water, the resurrected power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Drink ye all of it in faith. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much again, guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord make you bigger every day, especially today, in the name of Jesus Christ. May this be the time and the season when the impartation of the anointing required to convince others to follow Christ Jesus be upon each and every one of us in an uncommon way. As the Lord gave Elisha a double portion of what was upon Elijah, may a double portion of what was upon Christ Jesus for the purpose of plundering hell and populating heaven. And hell is not down where the fiery furnace is. Hell is all of who is living in this earth in in wickedness and in sin, in, in, in absence of Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit manifesting in their lives. That's what hell really is. And so, Lord, give us the anointing to plunder this hell and populate your heaven for your name's sake and for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Go forth, family. Have an amazing day. Find somebody to tell something good about Jesus. Come on. Glory to God. We are ministers of the gospel. Call somebody, see somebody, even a stranger on the street, and just said, you know, you are you are you are, you are loved. Hallelujah. I know some of you in certain countries can't mention the name of Jesus. And, and, and we think that that is a, a, um, a roadblock that will stop us from, from ministering the gospel. No, it doesn't. Hallelujah. Jesus is love. And so his other name, yes, when you are delivering and when you're doing certain things, you have to use the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But Jesus is love. And so if you show love, speak of love, live love and entertain love. Hallelujah. You are really preaching the gospel because Jesus is love. And so just take a, 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 an opportunity, make a concerted effort to go and to give love to the, do especially those who are unlovable in the eyes of persons in the name of Jesus Christ. Go forth and have an amazing day for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way in Jesus name. Remember guys, for our family, Jesus love you and we love the whole world too. God bless you, God bless you, bigger every day. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you, thank you guys, love you. Good job, good job. Bigger every day. Hallelujah. We're gonna have to do this more often, guys. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. Bless you. See you tomorrow. Rem oh, not tomorrow. See you 2.30. Fasting day. We're putting in the work. See you later.